Hello everyone, Amy R. here with Prairie Paper and Ink. Forgive my voice, I am suffering from a severe cold and I just, I sound awful, sorry. <laughs> um, I made this card the other night using the new Lawn Fawn Lovable Leg Legends stamp set. Well, it was kind of new, it's new to me. Um, but sitting for way too long. This was the card I had planned in my head, and the reason why I even bought the stamp set is my grandma's birthday is this week, and she is turning 82 years old, and she's from Scotland. So I kind of grew up with stories about the Loch Ness Monster, that sort of thing, so the minute I saw the set, I had to buy it, and I had to make her a birthday card using this little um, Nessie image because it's adorable. So I'd stamped it onto some Nina 80-pound cardstock with Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink, and then I pulled out my very much neglected Copic markers. I have not been using Copics lately. I've been so obsessed with watercoloring. just haven't been reaching for my Copics, but for this little guy, I thought I would use my Copics, so I used three different shades of green, and I didn't worry too much. Like I was pretty heavy-handed with the um, ink of the Copics to kind of get the colors to blend together. I didn't really worry about them bleeding out because I was planning on fussy cutting this out. But I just worked back and forth between the lightest to the darkest, and then I added a little bit of the R22, his little cheek there, just to give it a little bit of, a, like, a pink. And then I just took the markers, the same colors again, and was just dabbing them straight up and down to create that little speckled, reptilian sort of a look. So really, really fun, really, really simple. And once I did that one, I went on and colored his hat, his little birthday hat, and I just used three different shades of purple. Blur it in, starting from just darkest to lightest, really simple, especially with like little tiny images, they just blend right together. And then yeah, I fussy cut the image and totally forgot until the card was like adhered. I didn't go around the edges with a um, black marker. Usually I use my Memento Tuxedo Black Marker to go around fussy cut images. It just removes any little white areas if you don't cut out perfectly, but I forgot completely. So whatever. I did a pretty good job cutting this out though, so I didn't, you know, obviously didn't worry about it too much. And once that was done, I die cut some light purple cardstock using the My Favorite Things Birthday Balloons Dynamics. And then I stamped the numbers 82. This is from the Lawn Fawn Quinn's 123s stamp set. So I love when I'm making a birthday card specifically for someone, I love customizing it either with the name or the number. And since it was my grandma, and obviously this is like getting more and more milestone birthdays for her. I thought it'd be just kind of fun to personalize it even more. So I stamped the numbers and then I used those same, the exact same purple Copic markers just to color in the numbers and then add that little bit of definition to the edge of the balloon there. And then I pulled out the spring showers lawn cuts and I cut some yellow cardstock and some white cardstock. And then I've got some light blue cardstock for my card front. And then the other die set I pulled out was the Ocean Wave Borders. And I cut two pieces of vellum with two of the borders. And then one piece of blueberry cardstock with the third border. So I can create my little scene. And grabbed some black cardstock, which I die cut with the largest die from the Everyday Sentiment Banners um, lawn cuts. And I coated that with some anti-static powder and then I stamped the you're a legend stamp onto it with some Versamark ink and then I'm going to coat that with some detail white embossing powder and then I'm going to melt that with my heat tool so once I've got that melted I'm going to go on and I decided to um, lay out kind of how I'm going to start doing my like scene here and decided I wanted to add a couple more little elements to the water area. So I've got, there's a little bubble stamp that comes in the Lovable Legends set and I coated that vellum with the same anti-static powder and then just stamped that bubble image a couple times on there with the same Versamark ink and then coated that with the same detail white embossing powder and then quickly heat that with my heat tool. Um, on vellum, it only, it literally only takes a few seconds to melt embossing powder and you don't want to overheat it because vellum will curl and then can burn really, really quickly. So I just quickly melted that and then for the balloons I've got some kind of heavyweight black um, thread that I just taped to the back of each balloon and then set those aside so I can go um, actually building up the scene I've created with all these different die cuts. So I started by adhering the blue cardstock to the largest um, piece of vellum 
And then I adhered the little Loch Ness monster to that because I wasn't sure things were looking like they were going to be sitting too high up since I wanted to add, you know, clouds and a sun and balloons and all sorts of things. So once I got that adhered, I was like, yeah, it's way too high up on the card. So I just grabbed my paper trimmer and trimmed off about a quarter inch or so of um, the cardstock and vellum there and then did the same thing to the top piece of vellum. So just trim that off so that it was straight and then um, to adhere the front part of vellum, since adhesive usually shows through it, um, I first adhered the back piece and made sure not to apply any adhesive along the top there. I didn't want the adhesive to show through. And then I adhered the sentiment over the um, front strip of vellum. And then I was able to flip that over and apply adhesive just behind that. And then that was the reason I added those little stamped and embossed bubbles is I added just some multimedia matte adhesive behind them because while it shows through, it just works with those bubbles. You can just see it's like a little darker area. Um, so once I was done that, I folded the sentiment over to the back of the card and then I adhered down that little die cut sun and the die cut clouds and then um, tied the string or the thread for the balloons into a knot and then I adhered those flat to the card front as well and then kind of tucked the string behind the little Loch Ness monster's head kind of make it look like he's holding on to um, these fun little balloons and then once that's adhered I'm going to adhere that little um, birthday hat that I had stamped and colored and then cut out. So a little bit more adhesive for that. So then once I had everything adhered, I'm going to flip my little card front over and using the edge of that light blue cardstock as a guide, I'm going to trim off all these pieces that are hanging over um, the edges. And then I grabbed, there's another tiny little stamp in this set of little like splashes. And I inked up the same ink as the dark blue card socks. This is MFT's blueberry dye ink. And just stamped the little splashes on either side of the little Loch Ness monster. And then went on to finish the card base, which is standard A2 size card, four and a quarter by uh, scored at five and a half. It's 11 inches. Um, tall and I used my mini misty because I wanted to make sure I got the sentiment lined up perfectly on the inside as because it comes in different pieces in the stamp set so that you can customize it to whatever you want so I lined up the unbelievable first and stamped that with that same blueberry ink and then I lined up the have an and birthday stamps and this little grid sheet um, I'll have a link to it in the supplies and I just use that to make sure I've got everything lined up it just saves me so much time and effort and once I had those lined up, I'm going to ink those up with the same um, intense black ink that I used on the images. And once that's done, I'm going to adhere the card front to the card base. So I just grabbed my ATG adhesive for that and applied a few strips to the back of the card front and then adhered that to the card base itself. And I had purposely cut down um, the blue cardstock to be just slightly smaller than the A2 card. And I couldn't leave well enough alone, so I added, had to add some sort of embellishment. So I pulled out some stickles, which I haven't used in eons. And then once I got going, I couldn't stop. <laughs> I wanted to add so much sparkle. So I kind of lightly dabbed on some on the bubbles, and then started adding some to the little Loch Ness Monster. And then I started dabbing on some on the sun and the cloud. Like, it just, I went nuts with the sparkle. But rather than, like, thickly coating everything with, like, you know, a big blob of stickles, I just did really light little dabs. So one, it dries quickly, and two, it doesn't look like a total, you know, glitter throw up all over my card. <laughs> and then as a final little bit of enhancement, I took my white gel pen and just added a little dot to the eye and then added a few more dots um, among the top of the little Loch Ness monster just to finish it off. And that's all there was to it. So as always, I will have a link below the video to my blog post with the pictures as well as picture links to all the supplies used and links to all the supplies used as well in the description box below the video. So check that out below if you are interested. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing, thumbs up in my videos and all the great comments. I love reading them and I will catch you all next time. Bye.